or is too expensive, and it won't save me any money. So we get this one a lot. Obviously, it's a big reason to go solar, and honestly, solar definitely isn't for every single home. There are some scenarios where the panels wouldn't produce enough energy to make it worth it. Whether it's you don't have enough roof space to fit the panels in the areas that get the most sunlight, or it's due to shade from trees, or there's too many obstructions on the roof. Or if you have a roof type that we don't install on, which is pretty rare. But you won't know for sure unless you actually take a good look at it. A good installer is gonna take a look at your roof, your energy consumption, how many panels you need, and show you where they're gonna go. They'll show you what percent of your power is gonna come from the solar, and what you'd still get from the utility and how much that would cost. If it doesn't make sense to you, you shouldn't do it. But over the past decade, the price of panels and batteries and other equipment for solar has just consistently gone down. Sure, there's some years where the price has gone back up a little bit, but the truth is solar is more affordable today than it's ever been. And there are three main ways to pay for solar and a battery system. You can pay the system off up front, you can make payments to own the system, or you can make payments to pay for the power that's generated from the solar panels. If you pay the system off up front, you of course have no payment for the solar and you'll have a minimal electric bill in some months when the energy consumption is low, you might even have a negative electric bill. Your savings over time, they're gonna pay for the panels. And the payback period, of course, it depends what utility you have and what they charge, but it's usually around seven, eight years, maybe a little longer, maybe a little less, but that's assuming utility rates don't go up. So it could be even less than what we project. But many homeowners, they don't wanna pay it off up front. They don't have the money uh, or want to. You can just get solar installed without putting any money out of pocket. So what you used to be this huge upfront initial cost, now you get solar without having any upfront expense. Of course, you're not getting the panels for free, so don't believe any of those ads that you see on YouTube that tell you that. So this is the info that we always give here at Icon Power. I tell my customers, it has to make sense for us as a business, it has to make sense for you as a customer, but without putting any money out of pocket, you can make payments that go towards owning the system and you get the tax credits. And the biggest credit historically has been from the federal government. You get a tax credit worth 30% of the total cost, but that's ending this year. So better act fast if you want that. The system has to be installed in 2025 in order for you to claim it. The best way of thinking of your payments, instead of paying the utility forever, you're paying off an asset that gives you a 25 plus years worth of power. But if you don't have the tax liability, how can you go solar without the federal tax credit starting next year? So the third option is called the purchase power agreement. Uh, there's still no upfront cost. You pay for the power produced from the panels, but either at the same or even a lower rate than what you're already paying your utility company. 